Hey guys, uh, Coach Day here, and I uh, wanted to come and and uh, spend a few minutes with you today talking about our uh, our topic today, which is which is win today. Uh, I know this man, we we miss you guys. Um, kind of take it for granted every day that we get to see you and interact with you and all that, but uh, man, when you're not here. Uh, it makes it tough on your coaches. We miss being around you, miss getting to see you. And uh, we're looking forward to the day that we're all back together working. Uh, that being said, uh, man, we find ourselves in this in this uh, situation that we're in. And uh, the one thing we want to talk about today is how can I make sure that I'm doing what I need to do to prepare our football team for the future? All right. So, so let's start by by looking at this picture. Man, I love this photo. This is game night at Wildcat Stadium, man. The uh, the woodshed's full. The fans are full. I mean, uh, you can picture the band down there in the north end zone. Um, I mean, this is an incredible environment uh, that we get to experience on Friday night at home. And the one thing I want to uh, remind you of is this is going to happen. This is this is coming. It's it's four or five months away, but this scene right here is coming. You're going to be on that sideline. There's going to be an opponent across the field. Man, you can hear the crowd roaring, guys. This is this is coming. Uh, so well, we've got to make sure on a day to day basis that we're preparing ourselves for this. All right. So that being said, that's our topic for today. What can I do to make sure that I'm winning today? Now. The one thing I want to remind you of is, is this this set of circumstances that we find ourselves in, it doesn't change the future. I mean, man, we're being dealt a tough hand here, all right? But that can't be our excuse, all right? We've got to go to work, and we've got to prepare ourselves knowing that football season's coming, all right? And we've got to be ready. So the one thing I want you to do is I want to remind I want to I want you to remind yourself of the goals that you had individually and and the goals we kind of have as a team all right the expectations of our of our program all right uh you know it's easy when we're all up here working together and your coaches are reminding you and and you're reminding each other that man I, I want to play on Friday night this year or or I got a chance to be a starter I'm going to work my tail off for that it may be that, man, I, I want to be all state. And as a team, man, we're thinking, hey, we want to win a conference championship. We want to we want to play for a state championship. We want to get back to War Memorial in Little Rock. It's easy to remember those things when we're all together. But now that we're in a hundred different places and our and our routines really been rocked here, uh, it's sometimes difficult to remember why are we doing this every day. So the one thing I want you to do is I want you to remember our purpose, okay, and that we all have goals and, and expectations that we're trying to meet those, right? Rem remember that the opportunity for these goals, guys, it's still going to show up, all right? We're, we're, we're going to play Bentonville, all right? We're going to play Fayetteville. Uh, we're going to play Springdale. We're, we're, we're going to play McKinney, Texas. They're going to show up. We have to be ready, all right? So let's talk about what we can do to get ourselves ready for that, right? Mm -hmm. So three things that that I can do to make sure I win today, all right? Number one, guys, have a routine. The one thing I want to remind you of is, is guys, you're you're built on routine, all right? If you think back in off season, man, you're you're rolling out of bed at six o'clock. You're up here at six forty-five. You know, you eat before you come. You work out. You take a shower. You go to class. Uh, when class is over, you may come back to the field house or go to another sport. Uh, you go home, you do homework, you you eat, you have some me time. All right. So the one thing that that helps you uh, win today is develop a routine. All right. So, you know, example of this is, hey, I may wake up, I may eat. I'm going to do my workout. I'm going to do my A and I work, guys. You got to make sure you're still in your A and I work. It's going to impact your your semester grade. Then I may come back after in the afternoon and work a little football skill work, or or have some fun with the family, or or have some me time. All right, but set up that set up that routine. 
and then have the discipline to stay in it. This is what my days look like. Give your day some structure and some purpose, all right? Routines kind of help us when we overcome uh, the feel we have of being lost. I know, you know, myself right now, I kind of wander around wondering, you know, where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? So the first thing, you know, that I want to do once we got in this AI, AMI thing going is I want to get back in routine. I'm going to get up and go in the office early and, and go home and do this. When I get home, I get a kind of get a routine going. It gets us programmed into the things that we should be doing. All right. Now, understand this. Guys, your routine may be different from school. I realize a lot of you, you're, you're probably staying up, uh, you know, much, much later than you normally would. Uh, you're probably also sleeping later. Guys, that's OK. All right. We're not asking you to get up at six o'clock. All right. We're asking you to make a routine. If you get up at 11, and you eat and you do a workout and you start your AMI, that's fine. If you do your workout at six o'clock, you know, I get pictures of workouts at, at 11 o'clock at night. I don't see them because I'm in a coma, but, but I get them. All right. That's okay. Watch your routine, develop your routine and stick to it. All right. I love this saying right here. Uh, the trouble with not having goals, you spend the rest of your life running up and down the field and never scoring. Can you imagine playing football without an end zone, all right? What's the purpose of the game offense if you if you don't have that destination that you're trying to trying to get to or defense if you if you don't have that area of the field that we're trying to keep them out of, all right? Uh, the end zone's the goal, right? Either to score or to keep them out of the end zone. That's the goal, all right? And it gives the game purpose, all right? So the one thing I, I – we need to do is we need to have a goal each day so think of it in terms of this today i'm going to get better at what all right what am i going to get better at today all right could be footwork uh, on tuesday and thursday could be ball security right for your running backs uh could be your core your flexibility uh could be catching for wide receivers quarterbacks could be my release wide receivers could be my release off the line Defensive line, hand fits, offensive line, kick sets, could be conditioning. Guys, have a goal of what you're going to accomplish in your work today. Man, I'm going to get better at this, okay? There's something that you can get better at every day. So narrow your focus, but you got to have a focus, all right? It's real easy to just throw this workout up and say, oh, here's a list of things I have to do. No, it, you get better at them. All right. Have an intensity and a purpose about what you're going about doing and get better at it. The third thing I want you to think about is connecting. All right. Uh, you know, the one thing that that we've done a great job of uh, as a team this uh, this offseason was was we connected really well. I thought there was a closeness uh, that we were developing uh, amongst you guys uh, between the players and coaches. Our coaching staff is probably close, closer than it's been since I've been here. All right, guys, we can't we can't lose this. Understand, it's that it's that connectivity, it's that relationship that helps us get through adversity during the season. We can't lose that. All right. So the one thing I really want you to encourage to do to help us to help us win each day is stay connected with your teammates. All right. But here's the thing, guys. We all have this inner circle. Right. I mean, I have a group of people that I see every day. I see Coach Wood almost every day. Uh, I see my wife and kids every day. I see Coach Pruitt every day. Right. Uh, but am I reaching out to people on this football team that are not in my inner circle? Right. Am I talking to people outside of uh, my group that aren't uh, defensive linemen? All right. That's how we connect this football team as a whole. All right. So we need you to start reaching out to your teammates. All right. How you doing? All right. Uh, hey, have a great workout today. Uh, lift them up and encourage them. Guys, that's the only way to keep relationships alive. All right. Relationships don't work if there's not an interaction going. They don't grow. They don't become closer. They don't become better. So we can't have excuses why we're not doing this. So oh, I don't have a phone number. You can get a phone number. All right. Uh, no excuses, all right? Care about your teammates and go to work on their relationships. And one of the things you can do here is you can lift each other up. You can remind each other why we're working, 
you can encourage each other to get your work out. All right. I love this uh, verse at the bottom, Proverbs 27, 17. I know you've all heard this before, but as iron sharpens iron once, so one man sharpens another. All right. And that basic, uh, you know, saying is, is, you know, hey, if you want to sharpen a knife, use metal. If you want to sharpen a man or make a man better, you use other men. We can we can be a tool that can make each other better. We can encourage each other. We can lift each other up and that will carry over into our football football season. So reach out to a couple teammates this week, uh, lift them up, encourage them, reconnect. And let's keep that going as we go here. All right, guys, give your work a direction and purpose. You know, it's real easy in a time like this to feel like you're kind of, you know, in a boat, just kind of floating anywhere, you know, uh, you know, out on the water here. And you're not really have you don't really have a direction. All right. Uh, that's what we want to do to your day. Give your day direction. All right. Um and by doing this, it kind of helps you avoid that feeling of being lost. I wake up with a purpose, all right? I'm going to get up. I'm going to work out to make my football team better. I'm going to do my AMI work because I need to get better, all right? Give your day a purpose, and it'll help you avoid that lost feeling. So to recover this or to go over this again, how can I win the day? Number one, develop your routine. Number two, have a goal. And number three, connect with your teammates. Remind each other what you're working for. Remind your teammates, hey, you're not alone in this. All right? So here's your assignment for today. Now, listen, I'm very particular about how I want this done. I don't want you sharing this with your position coaches. I want this commented on Google Classroom. So wherever this video is, below it, there will be a comment box. I want you to go in that comment box. I want you to, post, I want you to put the name of one person on your team outside your circle, not in your position group, just somebody else on the team that you're going to reach out to and encourage today. All right. Just encourage them to get their work in. Tell them you're thinking about them. Hey, remind them what we're working for, all these things. Guys, it can be another coach, not your position coach, but it can be another coach. Uh, it can be a player outside your position circle, somebody outside your circle of best friends. Reach out to them and encourage a teammate today. Post that name in the comments of Google Classroom, all right? Use your teammates or coaches uh, if you need to get a cell number for somebody. So remember, guys, we're counting on you on a day-to-day -day basis, all right? We, uh, we put so much uh, trust in you guys that you're going to get up, you're going to do your work today, you're going to get your AMI work done. We, we trust you guys so much because we know uh, that you're bought in and all in like we are. All right. Uh, your teammates are counting on you. All right. We love you. We miss you. All right. Reach out to us. Reconnect uh, so we can see your face and talk to you some. Uh, look forward to see you in Zoom meetings and those kind of things right now. And uh, look forward to the day that we're all back together. Miss you guys.